training hard to make their prosthetic legs work for them. It is, of course, tough going, but you'll not hear complaints from the patients at Headley Court. However, the promise of new legs that could make this easier have really got their attention. It's different legs are like a different pair of trainers. You, know, you can wear a different pair of trainers to do a different activity. In order to establish what it is that you actually want from a leg, they've opened the, the sort of pot of money up so we can actually try out the different legs and you can then decide alongside your prosthetist and your physiotherapist what leg is going to be the right leg for you to help you live the life that you want to live, which is brilliant. The treatment here at Headley Court is, of course, world class, but until now, money has always been something of a limiting factor. This sea leg is the most prescribed prosthetic, costs £17,000, of course not cheap, but the new money will allow them to spend up to £30,000 on limbs like this, which will allow many more options for treating patients. They might be expensive, but the staff are sure this is going to be money well spent. Uh, well, certainly, um, you know, the, the feedback we've had um, from our colleagues in America and things like that is that it, it does a lot of little things better so that overall the patient is more confident on the limb, um, reporting less back pain, which is obviously clinically significant, um, and, and really just, just everything just a little bit better. And we think certainly for the, the slightly less able patients, it'll probably make a massive difference. We want our clinicians to be operating uh, right at the edge of state-of-art care. We've always said at Headley Court the rehabilitation that's offered here across the piece is, is world-class. Uh, and this is one element of, of that sort of level of improvement that we would hope our staff would do. As you know, it's a very much a team effort here, whether it's the consultants, whether it's the nurses, whether it's the physiotherapists or the prosthetists, they work together to get the maximum benefit for the patients. The Defence Secretary announced the extra money today and paid Headley Court a visit to see where it was being spent. Yeah, I've met um, you know, a few American colleagues, Wounded Warriors, who've, right. uh, who've used it, and they, they swear by it. They, they wonder why we're still on, on this, but uh, you know, that's the sea angst. Now they can uh, stop wondering. Yeah, exactly. The key thing is, this is not an announcement limited to the Genium leg or any other bit of technology that's available today. Uh, what we're saying here is that the clinicians will have the freedom to choose the kit that is right for their patients. And as technology develops and evolves, so new products will become available uh, and the clinicians will have the freedom to go with them. The so-called bionic legs aren't going to be appropriate for everybody. Trials will now take place, with the first being fitted in a few weeks' time. But for those not suited, there will now be money in the pot to buy them something that does work for them. Toby Sadler, Forces News, Headley Court.